Not only living stones, but stones of memory. The Museum of the Flagellation at the beginning of the Via della Rosa contains artifacts of enormous historical and religious value, and for a short time, it is open to the public. The Franciscan archaeologist, Father Eugenio Aliata, has personally overseen the project and enthusiastically helps us to discover the museum. For a few months, the museum has been open to the public on a regular basis. It was open upon request in the past, but few were willing to call first and find a person who would be available to open the museum and accompany them. It was done and some people took advantage of it, but now being open on a regular basis, many more people, even simple passers-by, can stop, come in and browse the beautiful things that we have on show. We have above all important artifacts that come from the archaeological digs at the principal holy sites of the custody of the Holy Land. For example, we have a room dedicated to Nazareth, a room dedicated to Capernaum, with a section reserved to the excavation of Magdala. We have rooms dedicated to the Mount of Olives, the excavation of Bethany, which is behind the Mount of Olives, and Herodium. And we have brought together diverse collections of precious objects which have belonged to the Franciscans in different places and at different times within the Holy Land. Che si trova subito dietro il Monte degli Olivi, all'Erodion. Abbiamo poi una raccolta di collezioni differenti, di oggetti preziosi che appartenevano ai francescani in diversi luoghi, in diversi conventi della Terra Santa. At the Flagellation Museum, which commemorates the location where Jesus was flogged, some volunteers have been cataloging artifacts. Leila Faberi of Cesena opens the museum every morning to the many curious pilgrims who flock daily to the Via della Rosa. The museum is open from 9 to 1 and from 2 to 4 every day, except Sunday and Monday. Heritage that is centuries old but protected and preserved, revealing the Holy Land in a unique context.